Throughout the history of ancient India, there have been many great leaders. These leaders include people such as Ashoka of the Mauryan dynasty, Shivaji, founder of the Maratha Empire, and Kanishka of the Kushan dynasty, but not even as great as Sandragupta Murad, the founder of the Mauryan Empire. Chandragupta was born in about 340 BC in the city of Palatilipura, probably the son of Ananda's prince. Good records of these things were not kept at the time, so there is some discrepancy as to how and where he was raised. But one way or another, Chandragupta met up with a man named Katilya, who would go on to become his mentor. Katilya taught Chandragupta to become a man and a strong leader, and in about 320 BC, they arranged an army and defeated the Nanda's empire, starting Chandragupta's own empire, the Mauryan Empire. Over the next years, Chandragupta Mora went on a siege, conquering almost all of modern-day India and some of Pakistan. His rise to power came in at the exact right time, because in around 320 BC, Alexander the Great was killed, and upon his death, he gave his land to his high-ranking generals, who are also known as Staraps. Perhaps one of Chandragupta's greatest victories was one against Seleucidas and Nicator, a uh, satrap of Alexander the Great. In this battle, he took over today what we know as Indus River Valley. While the defeat of Seleucus Nectar uh, did show his military strength, it also showed his strategic mind. This is because Sanjagupta Mora donated Seleucus Nectar 500 war elephants as part of the truce, which was used by Seleucus Nectar as against the enemy of both him and Sanjagupta. This move by Sanjagupta was smart as it killed two birds with one stone. Although we see that Chandragupta is a strong military leader, through his actions we also see he's a great political leader. With the help of Katilya, he writes the Ardhasastra, which is a guide to rule his kingdom and the empire he's ex constantly expanding. For the time period, the Ardhasastra was possibly one of the most progressive set of laws ever created. This is because of the rights it allotted to its citizens of the empire, including peasants, farmers getting grants of land, and even slave women who weren't allowed to be raped. Although the Ardhasastra was great, there were some things that were done in it that raised questions about Chandragupta's morality, such as espionage that he used against his own people. He did this by putting people into villages who would report back to him at the capital city and tell him about any uprisings. Sanjagupta is often seen as a bloodthirsty militant, which in some respects he was, but it is often forgotten that he was a fair and just leader, as we can see through the Art Hasashtra. As we see with many first leaders of empires, their tactics seem cruel and unjust, but there is reasoning for this. They are trying to make a glue that will stick the empire together for many years to come. So, One of the things that made Sanjagupta such a great leader was how he was willing to put his empire before himself. <clears throat> this was shown when in 298 BC, Sanjagupta gave up control of his empire to his son. Not because he wanted to, but because he knew he was no longer capable of serving and did was in the whatever was in the best interest of his people. Giving up the throne in 298 BC, Chandragupta converted to Jainism, a religion that teaches selflessness and respecting all life, something that didn't seem like he did much of throughout his life as a leader, but it really shows something about him as a character, showing that this is what he'd be willing to devote his life to. After, uh, shortly after his conversion to Jainism, Chandragupta went into a cave to practice Jainism, where after three weeks of praying and meditating, he finally died of starvation. After doing extensive research on Chandragupta Maurya, seeing both the good and the bad sides of him, we have come to the conclusion that he truly is a great leader. With his political mastermind and military genius, Chandragupta was able to unify India, giving us effects that we still see today in everyday life. Chandragupta truly is one of the greatest of all time.